In this video, we'll bounce the equation for KOH plus Cl2. This is potassium hydroxide plus chlorine gas. So let's count the atoms up and then bounce the equation. We have one potassium, we have one oxygen, we have one hydrogen, and two chlorine atoms. On the product side, we have one potassium, plus we have this potassium right here. So we have two potassium atoms. Make sure you count all those. Oxygens, we have one, plus again, we have one oxygen here in the water, two of those. We have two hydrogen atoms and one, two chlorine atoms. So make sure you get these numbers here correct before you try to balance the equation. So the equation isn't balanced. Why don't we just put a two in front of the potassium hydroxide? One times two, that would balance the potassium atoms for the oxygen, one times two, that would balance those. One times two for the hydrogen, and this equation is balanced. So when we have this equation take place, really the key is to make sure you count up all of these atoms and the products correctly. We'd probably start out with an aqueous solution of potassium hydroxide bubbles some chlorine gas through, and then the KCl and the KClO, they would be dissolved in the water. They'd be soluble. So these would be aqueous. We have a liquid here. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for KOH plus Cl2, potassium hydroxide plus chlorine gas. Thanks for watching.